Let's talk briefly about um, side effects and what unexpected, maybe rare side effects you get, presumably during the chemotherapy or shortly after. Um, anything, did anything happen that you weren't expecting? Yeah, um, the common one was your nose running. My nose was constantly running and it was really, it went dry as well. Um, but other things that I, was my taste buds. My taste bud has completely gone. My hearing, like when my kids would be playing, just the slightest noise, my ears would be just ringing. Oh, it was horrible. And then because my hair fell out quite quickly, the hair growth, or I don't even know if it was the growth of my hair or just the treatment, but I'd suffer severe headaches, really, really bad headaches. Um, because of the treatment, the chemo, when I, was, when I itched my skin slightly, I mean, normal skin, it'll go red. Mine started going brown and scarring with brown patches. So I was covered with scars. <laughs> mm. So you had a lot of, um, let's say, unusual side effects. Yeah, and then actually towards the end of my treatment, I re one of the drugs out of the ABVD, it actually started damaging my nerves. So I started getting really bad knee pains mm. and um, my arm pains and my grip started going. So they had to actually stop that as well. They had to change your regime. Yeah. How long did it take to recover from those things after the chemotherapy stopped? Um, it took a while. I mean, at the moment it's been a year, mm. just over a year since I've been in remission and I'm still suffering with aches and pains. My scarring started to fade. Obviously, as you can see, my hair's grown back. My senses have come back. My ears are still slightly sensitive, but I won't say oversensitive. Mm -hmm. So it has got better, but I think the longest has been the aches and pains, which I've been told a year is nothing for recovery, that it takes a good few years. Okay.